Lesson 78, let miracles replace all grievances. Welcome to the Qigong support for A Course in Miracles students. I am Judith and this is the Lucid Mind Center. We are working with the miracles. I strongly suggest you have uh, watched the video together with me, which is called What are Miracles According to A Course in Miracles? <laughs> How these classes work is this. First, we're going to read the lesson together. We're going to contemplate during and after the lesson. Then we are going to apply the lesson and all this I'm going to incorporate into a Qigong class. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel so I can reach more Course in Miracle students and our Qigong a Course in Miracle community can grow. At the end, let me know how this class has gone for you, where you are watching from and how long you've been with the Course in Miracles. Let's begin. Lesson 78. Let miracles replace all grievances. Perhaps it is not yet quite clear to you that each decision that you make is one between a grievance and a miracle. Each grievance stands like a dark shield of hate before the miracle it would conceal. And as you raise it up before your eyes, you will not see the miracle beyond. Yet all the while it waits for you in light, but you behold your grievances instead. Today we go beyond the grievances to look upon the miracle instead. We will reverse the way you see by not allowing sight to stop before it sees. We will not wait before the shield of hate, but lay it down and gently lift our eyes in silence to behold the Son of God. He waits for you behind your grievances, and as you lay them down, he will appear in shining light where each one stood before, for every grievance is a block to sight. And as it lifts, you see the Son of God where he has always been. He stands in light, but you were in the dark. Each grievance made the darkness deeper and you could not see. Today we will attempt to see God's Son. We will not let ourselves be blind to Him. We will not look upon our grievances. So is the seeing of the world reversed as we look out towards truth, away from fear. We will select one person you have used as target for your grievances and lay the grievance aside and look at him. Someone perhaps you fear or even hate. Someone you think you love, but who angers you. Someone you call a friend, but whom you see as difficult at times or hard to please. Demanding, irritating or untrue to the ideal he should accept at, as his according to the role you set for him. You know the one to choose. His name has crossed your mind already. He will be the one of whom we ask God's Son be shown to us. Through seeing him behind the grievances that we have held against him, you will learn that what lay hidden while you saw him not is there in everyone and can be seen. He who was enemy is more than friend when he is freed to take the holy role the Holy Spirit has assigned to him. Let him be savior unto you today. Such is his role in God, your father's plan. Our longer practice periods today will see him in this role. We will attempt to hold him in our mind. First, as you now consider him, we will review his faults, the difficulties you have had with him, the pain he caused you, his neglect, and all the little and the larger hurts he gave. We will regard his body with its flaws and better points as well. And we will think of his mistake and even of his sins. Then let us ask of him who knows this son of God and his reality and truth, that we may look on him a different way and see our Savior shining in the light of true forgiveness 
given unto us. We ask him in the holy name of God and of his Son, as holy as himself. Let me behold my Savior in this one. You have appointed as the one for me to ask to lead me to the holy light in which he stands that I may join with him. The body's eyes are closed. And as you think of him who grieved you, let your mind be shown the light in him beyond your grievances. What you have asked for cannot be denied. Your Savior has been waiting long for this. He would be free and make this freedom yours. The Holy Spirit leans from him to you. Seeing no separation in God's Son and what you see through him will free you both. Be very quiet now and look upon your shining Savior. No dark grievances obscure the sight of him. You have allowed the Holy Spirit to express through him the role God gave him that you might be saved. God thanks you for these quiet times today in which you laid your inner images aside and looked upon the miracle of love the Holy Spirit showed you in their place. The world and heaven join in thanking you for not one thought of God, but must rejoice as you are saved and all the world with you. We will remember this throughout the day and take the role assigned to us as part of God's salvation plan and not our own. Temptation falls away when we allow each one we meet to save us and refuse to hide his light behind our grievances. To everyone you meet and to the ones you think of or remember from the past, allow the role of Savior to be given that you may share it with them. For you both and all the sightless ones as well, we pray. Let miracles replace all grievances. Now, this is a beautiful exercise. Mm, there is one further on, on, on lesson 123, where we are also doing a similar exercise, which are, is one of my favorite lessons in forgiveness. This visualization is very, very powerful. And what we're learning when we're doing Qigong is that intention is really the key to vision, is what you're intending to see. Um, determination comes after the intention. So intention is the first desire, if you will. But like I said a, a few lessons ago, desire and wishes, they are expecting that something is going to come from the outside, whereby the intent is the first decision, kind of. This is what I'm going to think and this is what I'm going to do. You, you're moving your... Um, body with intention so you you deciding you're intending i'm gonna go and make myself a coffee now so this is your intentions this is kind of what you intending to do and then you make the body move in the direction of the kitchen where you then start your kettle and, and make yourself the coffee so the mind and this is what we as course of miracle students are learning the mind is very very powerful everything what we see and observe is within our mind what we're intending here is to look at every person as a savior of the world. Basically, we, we, are, we, are, we want to see every person as the light of the world, the same as we are. The course clearly states whatever is granted to one human is granted to all the human. There are no exceptions. There is not something which is only reserved for some and not reserved for the others. Everything what we want Everything that one person can achieve, all the other ones can achieve too. So if I am the Holy Son of God, then everybody else is the Holy Son of God too. If I am the Savior of the world, then everybody else is too. The only choice there is, is whether they want to see it that way or they don't want to see it that way. 
that I cannot do for them. I cannot take this choice away from them. But what I can do is I can take the choice for myself. How do I look at it myself and how do I look at that other person? This particular class is a beautiful way of doing it, to just basically pick that one person which already came into your mind and to look past the grievances you have holding against, against this person. Put your feet shoulder width apart, put a smile on your face, relax your shoulders, relax your body. Remember the central channel, lower your coccyx bone, come into Wuji posture. If you're the first time doing Qigong with me, I recommend you watch the two videos which are called How Qigong Can Help a Course in Miracle Student and you can find the link below in the description. And the rest of us, if you've been doing a lot of classes with me already, you're probably entering into Wuji posture already. And you are coming into relaxed state. You're also connecting yourself to your, to your central channel, becoming aware that this body belongs to the earth, belongs to this nature here. That's why it's healthy to go out into nature and connect to nature. And your mind belongs to the universe belongs to the divine energy, belongs to God and the Holy Spirit. And, all we, are, and, and we are using these Qigong techniques to remind ourselves and to remember that's what we are and that's who we are and why we are here. And we're using the Course in Miracles lessons to help us clear our mind about our purpose. Let miracles replace all grievances. Grievances, grief, according to Qigong, to the Chinese medicine, is stored in the lungs. Lungs and large intestines. So you want to get rid of things. That is why when you want to get rid of things, fasting is a good idea because you need to clear out the large intestine. So what we're going to do help here now, we're going to turn around our central axis and knock on the belly. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. We're knocking on belly and Ming Men. So you just inhale, let's do three of those breaths. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. You can close your eyes, but it's when you're purifying, it's better you actually keep the eyes open. Very good. Notice how you feel. Very good. And we're going to start knocking on the lungs as well. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Here we're knocking on the kidneys in the back and the lungs in the front. Let's do two more breaths. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Very good. Then relax down and now knock on the liver and kidney and the liver, kidneys and um, spleen. Put your hands on the side of your body, notice how you feel. Notice this action, how it is activated your body. Just enjoy, close your eyes and just enjoy this for a few moments. Very good. And now we are going to activate all the organs the same. So we're going to start up at the, coming up at the right, knocking over to the left and going down again. Today I want to work with the lungs and large intestines with you. So here we are following the peristalsis movement. We're coming up on the right, we are basically following our large intestine and it comes down on the, on the left and then goes into the anus. So we are kind of helping it to digest the last waste products which our body needs to get rid of. So inhale through the nose and then exhale through the mouth and just focus on your large intestine. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Last one. And put your hands onto your belly and notice the tingling sensation and the activation of energy within your belly. Very good. 
Now we are going to activate the, the, the yin meridians and yang meridians which we have in our, in our arm. So this is lungs, heart, pericardium. Inhale, large intestine, small intestine, and triple warmer. Inhale and exhale. Inhale up. Exhale up. You can put the knocking harder or softer, whichever way is most pleasing to you today. Inhale. Today I need a very vigorous activation. Inhale. And then exhale, massage the neck. Woo! I needed that one. Inhale. And exhale and stay there as long as you need it. And then when you are ready to let go, you inhale. And now imagine that you're basically taking all the weight of your shoulders, letting it go into the earth. And then I want you to stop here and observe a moment what has happened in this side of the body. Notice the difference. Because it is, you're noticing your awareness of what is happening, which is changing things. And the Course in Miracle is teaching us that we must become aware and this is one way of always in qigong always training when we're going into into the resting um resting phase in between the exercises is to become aware what has happened to our body very good and then let's go to the other side put your hand up looking up the palms looking up put your hand on the shoulder and prepare to let go inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale. And start exhaling. Start massaging your neck. You can also breathe normal here. Do as many as you need here. But you can say, oh, this is loads of tension. So I've got loads of weight on my shoulders. You just take this off. Loosen it. And one more. And then prepare to let go. Close your eyes and notice how you feel. I obviously very much need it. I am at the moment very tense. I have got a lot of things going on in my life at the moment. So for me, this is pure paradise now, exercising here with you. Very good. You can also notice what is going in your in your belly. I can feel, for example, that there is a little bit of a pain I have in my spleen and pancreas. This is because I'm worrying a lot. And this is basically, some people are using tarot cards to, to help themselves understand, or they are doing uh, automatic writing, or they listen to the words. But Qigong is teaching us to listen to the body and then associate it, what is going on here. So I've got a little bit of pain here in the stomach and this is because I'm worried and I am not trusting enough as my, as my as I could, as I could really have full trust. But that is okay. I'm just gonna allow it, I'm allowing it to be here. I'm inhaling and now let's connect to our body again. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, just be, let's become aware of our central channel. We're going to do a little bit more, more purification in a minute. I just want you to become aware of your connection to heaven and earth. Inhale. I want you to become aware of your connection to your holy self, to the light which is in within you. Inhale through the nose and exhale. Basically, the central channel is permitting the light to come within. The bigger, the more... Um, um, harmonized your three energy fields are according to Chinese medicine or to, according to Qigong and the more aware you are of your central channel the more you can become aware of your light if one of those Dantians is excessive is excessively big or is very small then it's going to be difficult for you to actually become aware of this light within you According to Qigong, this has got nothing to do with the Course in Miracles. So you put a smile on your face. Notice how you're feeling. And what we're going to do now is we're going to shake it out with sound. Okay, so you inhale through the nose and then you exhale the, the sounds which we're going to, which we, according to each element. So we're going to start with the lungs. The lung sound is 
okay? Connect to the lungs, inhale, and then go. Let's do two more. Inhale. And imagine that you're letting go of grievances, of grief and sadness which can accumulate in the lungs. Very good, put a smile on your face, connect to your lungs and say thank you to the lungs for doing all this work for you, which they have done so far. Very good. Now connect to the kidneys. The kidneys are on the back of your body. The, so the sound is like when you open a faucet. Connect to the kidneys and then say, you can like shake to the back. We are letting go of fear and uncertainty, unwillingness to take a decision. Let's do two more. It's the unwillingness to will as well. The willing, the will, the willpower is also stored in the kidneys. The willpower both to do or not to do. This is all connected in the kidneys and the fear. So when we get rid of fear, we get access to our willpower and we also get access to our inner peace, according to Chinese medicine. <laughs> Very good. And from the kidneys, we go into the liver. This is the wood element. And we connect to this, to the liver. Connect to the liver. Notice how we feel. And the sound for the liver is shh. The negative emotion is anger and not willingness to share, envy, jealousy. Connect to the liver and let's go of the anger. And the sound is shh. Focus on the liver on the right side of your body and then go shh. Move your body according where you can feel that you're actually uh, most getting rid of whatever there is in the liver stored. So maybe you want to shake it like this. Maybe you want to shake it like that. Focusing on the right side. Allow yourself to experiment with this. This is your body and you only got this one body during this lifetime in your particular consciousness, in this particular awareness. So you make the best of it. So just listen to your body. Put your hands on the liver one more time and we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna get rid of anger, jealousy and envy. <laughs> Very good. Put a smile on your face, say thank you to your liver and also to the um, gallbladder. Very good. And then we're gonna go up to our liver. Then we're gonna go up to our heart. Connect to your heart. The heart is also associated with the small intestine. But what is here is hate and impatience are the negative emotions. And also depression can and anxiety can stem from here. So let's connect to the heart for the physical heart actually. Very good. And then the sound is like ah. <laughs> And then let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of impatience and hatred towards ourselves, maybe, towards the world, life, or God knows what, or a person. <laughs> Here as well. <coughs> Focus on, on which position is the most comfortable for you. for a moment notice how your body feels close your eyes and just enjoy this feeling you have accumulated here very nice
and then say thank you for your, to your heart and your small intestines for all the job, for all the jobs they're doing for you. Put a smile on your face. Mm, very good. And after the heart, we're going to the spleen. This is the earth element. The spleen is where the confidence is, the creative force. Mm, and it's associated also with the with the stomach and pancreas. So I just want to connect here. And the sound is like the wind. Connect. You can go to the to the left side. So this is the opposite of me, because this is my left, so it's the opposite. And here as well, if you feel that it's better useful like this, just you want to focus on the spleen, you want to get rid of worry and distrust. Then stop, notice how your body feels, close your eyes, feel into the spleen and say thank you to the spleen and the stomach and the pancreas for all this work they have been doing for you over all those years. <sighs> oh, this is very good. The next um, organ we're going to be working on is the last one in the circle. And then from there, we're going to go through the, through the triple warmer and the pericardium, which is the, also connected to the central channel. It's the connection. So this, the negative aspect of this particular Mm, triple warmer and pericardium and the central channel is panic. This is when you are panicking, where you can't relax. And the um, virtue is um, harmony and balance. And the sound is So now focus on the central channel, focus on the triple warmer. These are those th three um, kettles which are helping the digestion of chi and the sac which is around your heart and the sound is focus on the central channel and now shake it out with the he sound maybe go to one side then to the other getting rid of stress it's helping me a lot and then rest close your eyes notice how your body feels notice the opening in your in the center of your body and just enjoy all these circulations and opening in your body very good now we're going to stabilize our central channel we're going to connect to the earth imagine that your fingers are growing deep into the earth like laser-like, and also remember the roots you're growing from your feet into the earth. If you've got difficulties imagining this, just say it. I'm growing roots from my feet into the earth, and you're gonna notice that there is some activation happening in the feet. And also imagine that you are extending, that your nails are growing into the earth. And then you're also gonna notice some um, energy activation in your fingers. This is because the chi goes where your attention goes, where your intention goes, that is where the chi goes. And that in itself is a message to us, that our intention and our mind is extremely powerful. So circulate this around, connect to this healing earth, mother earth power. Connect to the earth, bring the earth energy above your head, connect to heaven, and then reinforce the central channel with the yin yang symbol. This is what we are doing here on the earth. We need this body to manifest. You cannot manifest anything in this world without your body. People just don't see the spirits, the energy. They are relying on their senses. So if you wanna make any kind of changes, you have to understand how to use this body to manifest what we want, what we, of course in Miracle mir uh, students want to manifest. We want to bring the light to the world. Inhale up, connect to that central channel, connect to the Holy Spirit and exhale down. 
And then we say, let miracles replace all grievances. And let's do it one more time. Inhale up and then say, I will let miracles replace all grievances and exhale down. Now relax, put a smile on your face, connect, notice how you're feeling. Wow, you feel much lighter after this great cleansing, purification. So, today we are supposed to take that one person which you have already been thinking about while we were reading the lesson together. There probably came already this one person up into your mind which you want to, which you want to put, look at differently. And think of the grievances you are having about him. Maybe you don't feel them as strongly because we have just purified, but you remember the grievances. You remember the annoyance about that one person. And we're going to use that one person now to go beyond the, our, our ego sight. And we're going to be beyond there and look, look at the light within him. Very good. So you've got that person in front of you. Close your eyes. I'm going to talk you through it. And now visualize this person in front of you. Notice the anger you have or the annoyance you have with this person. You, maybe you feel unjustly treated or maybe this person is just not responsible enough or whatever it is that you are feeling in them. It can be somebody you love or it can be somebody you hate. It can be anybody you pick. It can be a working colleague. It can also be a, a child. It can be a partner. So you've got that person in front of you. I have got several. <laughs> I have got the difficulty to choose which one, so I'm putting them next to each other. I have got two people standing in front of me. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to again become aware of my central channel. I'm going to connect again to the earth. I've got those people standing in front of me. And now I'm going to lift up my hands above and bring down the heavens, just as we have done in the previous exercise. You can just open the eyes one more time so you see what I'm doing. This is the this is called drawing down the heavens. Just do it one more time with me. Inhale up and exhale down. And now close your eyes and I want you to visualize the people in front of you following your example. They are spreading their hands out, they are connecting to the earth, they are growing the roots into the earth. And now they are lifting up together with you, you as well, are lifting up the earth force, the confidence of the earth. You're bringing it up above your head and so are, is the person in front of you. Or if you are like me, you have two. So are those two people in front of you, they are bringing their hands up. And now they are bringing the, their holy awareness into the center of their body. Exhale. And you can see a light around them and penetrating them and you can see the light in them and notice what is happening in your body notice the kindness and love which is opening up your heart inhale again let's do that again we are inhaling there as well the person in front of you is inhaling up they have a smile on your face their face and you have a smile on your face and we are lowering down the light of the world into our awareness you and the person who you are together with and you're smiling at each other your heart is opening and you are way more powerful than what you think both of you and let's do one more time inhale up connect to the heavenly chi and exhale down very good and now all the exercises we are doing, I want you to imagine that this person you have got these grievances against, that we obviously, miracles are expressions of love. So we are obviously going to involve this person in love. And then we are, every movement that we are making, they are going to be making it with us in our mind's eye. Very good. And now I want you to connect to, your, to the soles of the feet. And I just really love this exercise, it's called the fountain. And we're just going to bring the water energy through our body and circulate it down. Obviously, you have to open your eyes to see what I'm doing, but it's a very simple movement. So you can you bring the energy up to your shoulders and then you exhale it down. So you inhale 
and exhale. And you just feel that you are cleansing, that you're bringing miracles into your awareness. You are bringing expressions of love into your awareness with the confidence of the earth, which is coming down through the roots, but also with the peace and the will power of the water element of the kidneys. So you inhale up, you can close your eyes now, inhale and circulate down, exhale and now observe the person which is standing in front of you and notice that they're doing it as well and notice how they are getting rid of their grievances and how you are able to connect with them. Open up your chest as well when you, when you come up and just let your, let your love and kindness and peace and um, courage expand towards them and as you are expanding your heart and your kindness towards them so are they very good and you're just letting this water sprinkling out coming up and then sprinkle out all grievances just out and just visualize that this is happening to the person in which you are visualizing it's happening to them as well beautiful all the things they have done to you they have not done to you the son of god it is it is their their ego which has done it to your ego or maybe it's your ego who has done it to their ego so it's irrelevant the only thing purpose thing you can use this for that happened is for learning purposes is it helped me to learn something has it helped him or her to learn something then it was useful if nobody learned nothing from it, then just get rid of it. It's just rubbish. Just get rid of it. You do not need it. So the water is washing it away. You're just letting go of it. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. And the person is doing it and as well. And the smiles are coming. Your hearts are connecting. You can... Even tell me afterwards how you visualize this particular connection. And just keep on moving this now for six breaths, inhaling up and exhaling down, and just observe what is happening between you and that person. Let's start now. Two. Three. And open up your eyes put your hands on your belly I really would like you to know to tell me what you visualized I will tell you in comments what I visualized beautiful notice the peace and the love which you have generated within yourself notice how beautiful it is to to be aware of the light within yourself this love within yourself this kindness don't focus too much on, on seeing light just become aware of what you're experiencing and also notice the the light or the kindness or the love you are perceiving in the other person which is opposite you maybe you have been embraced maybe you have been embracing each other maybe you cried together maybe you laughed together maybe you laughed together whatever you did together this is wonderful very good you have to remember that these people are in your life for you to learn something and they they don't know any better if you use whatever has happened as a learning device then you have done it correctly, then everything was good. Very good. And now we are going to close it. We're going to 
put a protective cross, we're gonna put, put a protective ball around ourselves. Inhale up and exhale down. We are gonna to prepare to close our session. Inhale. And if you fancy, you can repeat this session one more time today. And it's very, very helpful. Inhale and exhale. It's very helpful for getting rid of things. And it's also very helpful in getting rid of grievances you have against other people. Let miracles replace all grievances I have. And notice that this particular thing, what we have done right now, is a miracle. Even though the person maybe don't know that you have done it. But if that person suddenly calls you or suddenly expresses some love to you, then you know that this, what you have done today, has actually reached them. That is the proof. Inhale. Or if they act differently with you, if you see them next time. Or if you react differently with them. Then this particular exercise has worked. Exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. Fill your bowl with light and love and kindness. And now come to one side. Exhale. Come to the middle. Exhale. And go to the other side now. Inhale. And exhale. And now to the center. Inhale. Put your feet together. And then say together with me. Let miracles replace all grievances because miracles are seen in light. Let your body move freely the way it wants to. Very good. And then let's close this flow today. Collect all dispersed thoughts and ideas and bring them back to the center, remembering that you are the light of the world. And exhaling. Inhale, bring everything back into the center, remembering that you are the light of the world and that you are, will allow all grievances to leave and be replaced by love. Good. Last one. Bringing it, centering everything down into your lower dantian, into the sea of chi, into the sea of love, which is in your, which is housed in the center of your body, in the belly. That's why you, that's why when you're in love with somebody, it feels like you have got airplanes in the stomach. Like say butterflies, but it's sometimes it's airplanes in the stomach. This is because this is where your love awakens from. I wish you an absolutely wonderful day. If you want to do more Qigong, you can click here on my Qigong channel. I have got some English videos. If you speak Spanish, there is loads of Spanish videos here. And here is the playlist for our current Course in Miracle lessons. Have a wonderful day.